students i am preetha ma'am again in this video i am going to tell you some very important thing of your grammatical skill and today's topic is narration change narration change is very important uh, and as you have already known as you have already watched in my previous two videos i have already uh, uh, not two videos actually three videos I have already told you how to change uh, assertive sentence how to change uh, exclamatory how to change imperative so in today's video actually I'm going to tell you how to change interrogative sentence uh, in direct interrogative sentence into indirect interrogative sentence okay so at first let's see what is called interrogative sentence we all know that interrogative sentence means to ask something with which sentence we can ask something and what is the sentence structure sentence structure is verb plus subject plus object and obviously a question mark so this is the sentence structure okay so now we can divide interrogative sentence into two categories one is yes no question and another is wh question now what is called yes no question yes no question means with which sentence or with which question we can uh, get the answer in yes or no it is called yes no question so yes no questions is the questions with which we can get the answer in yes or no but not only this we can also um, now we can also categorize this um, uh, this sentence as yes no question by seeing the helping verb helping verb okay when the question starts with the helping verb it is called yes no question see do you go to school the answer should be in yeah, yes i go to school or no i don't go to school so this is called yes no question because the answer should be in yes so sorry yes or no and now let's see the wh questions wh questions means which question starts with w word or h word like who what when where why whom whose uh, and how okay and etc like where are you going here we can give the answer in some sentences but the question starts with wh where okay now let's see how can we change this direct interrogative sentences into in uh, indirect interrogative sentence but before going to start how uh, before going to give you the lesson how to change the direct interrogative sentence into indirect interrogative sentence I want to tell you that if you if you will like this video you have to hit the like button you have to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos okay don't forget to share with your friends also and yes I know that you will definitely like this video and if you hit the like button then I will get the motivation uh, motivation to create the new new videos okay now let's see how to change the direct interrogative sentence into indirect interrogative sentence see the first sentence is rohim said to rita do you go to school the first question and it is in yes no question so when the it is in interrogative sentence always you have to write down say to as asked okay so now we have to write down rahim asked rita now in other uh, narrations we need to write down that after this but here we no need to write down that we have to write down as it is yes no question we have to write down instead of that and this quoted quotation we have to write down here if you may write down whether also but if is very easy to write down the spelling is very easy so 
it is preferable to write down if. So, you means who is you? You is Rita. You is Rita. Right? So, here Rohim asked Rita if she. Now, go to. Go means here it is. See, from this uh, helping verb, we can understand that this sentence is in present simple tense. And we all know that present simple tense change into past simple tense. So, we have to write down here, she went. She went to school. And obviously, full stop. Okay, don't end this indirect sentence with question mark. You have to change it into assertive sentence and you have to end this sentence with the full stop. Always keep in your mind that direct speech, if it is in interrogative sentence, in indirect speech, this should be changed into assertive sentence. See, if she went, it means subject, verb, object. Okay, so this is the yes no question. Now let's come to the next part which is WH question. So let's see how can we change it. So write down Rita. Again instead of say to we have to write down here asked. You may use inquired, you may use um, any other thing but asked is very much uh, common. So write down asked. Asked Rohim. Now, again, you don't write, need to write down that. So, you have to write down the WH word here. Where? Now, it is where are you going? It means it is in present continuous tense. So, we have to change it into past continuous tense. But again, you have to make it assertive sentence. So, assertive sentence means I have to write down the subject at first. So, you means Rahim. Rahim means? He, where he was going, full stop. So, it is very easy to do. Don't think, uh, think so much about this. Don't be so much worried about this. It is very easy. But keep in your mind the rules. If you know the rules, then you can change anything. You can uh, do any kind of grammatical skill. And grammar is very much easy thing if you can understand. So, the basic thing is you have to understand, okay. So, this is for today and again hit the like button if you like this video and give me the inspiration to make new new videos on English grammatical skill and English literature. I hope that you, you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you will share this video with your friends also. Thank you so much.